the chapter 48 the book of Genesis and God bless you and your family my English is very horribly sufferably horrible my English is very bad but have mercy and compassion with me and have a great day let's go and it came to pass after these things that on told Joseph behold the father is sick and he took him took with him his two sons Manasseh and Ephraim and on told Jacob and said behold the son Joseph cometh unto thee and Israel Israel he strengthened strengthened himself and sat upon the bed And Jacob said unto Joseph, God Almighty, uh, appeared unto the me at Lux, Lux, in the land of Canaan, and blessed me, and said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful, and multiply thee, and I will make of thee a multitude of people, and will give this land to the seed after thee for an everlasting possession. And now the two sons Ephraim and Manasseh which were born unto thee in the land of Egypt before I came unto thee into Egypt, Egypt are men mine as Reuben and Simeon they shall be mine and the Insur which thou beggest, beggest after then shall be eaten, and shall be called after the name of the Bethlehem in their inheritance. And as for me, when I came from Padan, Rachel died by me in the land of Canaan, in the way when yet there was but a little way to come unto Ephraim. And I buried her, her there in the way of Ephraim, the same as Bethlehem. And Israel beheld Joseph's sons and said, Who are these? Who are these? And Joseph said unto his father, They, they are my sons, one whom God hath given me in this place. And he said, Bring them, I pray thee, unto me, and I will bless them. Now the eyes of Israel, Israel, Israel uh, were then for ages so that he could not see. And he broke them near unto him, and he kissed them, and embraced them. And Israel, Israel, said unto Joseph, I had not thrown to see the face, and lo, God had showed me also the seed. And Joseph broke then out from between his knees, and he bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Joseph took then but Ephraim in his right hand towards Israel's left hand, and Manasseh, Manasseh in his left hand toward Israel, Israel's right hand, and broke then near unto him. Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left hand hand upon Manasseh's head he giving guiding his hands wittingly wittingly for Manasseh was the firstborn and he blessed Joseph and said God before one my fathers Abraham and Isaac did walk the God which fed me all my life long unto this day and the angel, the angel which redeemed the from all evil, blessed the lands.
and let my name be named on them and the name of my fathers Abraham and Isaac and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth and when Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim it displeased, displeased uh, him and he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head and Joseph sighed unto his father not so my father for this is my firstborn put the right hand upon his head and his father refused and said I know it my son I know it he also shall become a people and he also shall be great but truly his younger brother shall be greater than he and his seed shall become a multitude of nations and he blessed them that day, saying, In thee shall Israel, Israel, Israel blessed, saying, God make thee as Ephraim and as Manasseh. And he set Ephraim before Manasseh. And Israel said unto Joseph, Behold, I am die, but God shall be with you. And bring you again unto the land of your fathers. Moreover, I have given to the young portion above the better hand, which I took out of the hand of the Amorite with my sword and with my bow. God bless you. In the next day, chapter 49, the book of Genesis. God bless you and, and your family. Have a great, wonderful, happy and blessed day. Bye.